who would have thought all those years ago, and it was all those years ago, 2018, when you both first met here in St Andrews, you saw each other and you thought, ding dong, don't mind if I do. Because <laughs> that's what you said happened. This would ultimately lead to this point in your life, making your pledges and promising to be the best version of yourself and each other until the end of time. He said, it's hard to describe, it's hard to put into words. I have never ever had someone love me so much or love me this way. I can be vulnerable with her. We don't keep secrets. We tell each other everything. Instantly, we had a conversation about work, life and well-being, and I just knew, I knew then. Often we can have a conversation and no one needs to even speak. It's like a brainwave. When you find someone that can have all this with, it's truly amazing. Your family come to visit one day and they go into your bathroom and they spy a second toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. And by that stage they realise that you have in fact moved in without the landlord knowing. Good times. She said, I had never met an actual gentleman like him before. I was so independent before I met him. He walked me home. He makes me stand on the inside of the pavement. He is so very supportive. Since we met, my confidence has shot up, telling me that I am capable and I just need to believe in myself. I can be totally vulnerable and authentic with him. It's been like that from the start. We've always wanted to get married. This is our commitment to each other. I love him and he is my wee darling. That was nice. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. Is a token of my love to you. Is my token of my love to you. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. And all that I ever will be as your husband. And all that I ever will be as your husband. With this ring I marry you. With this ring I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours.